Your name? Hi, my name's Kev Clark. And your home, your hometown? My uh, my hometown is Yom, uh, but in twelve days' time it'll be Curitiba in uh, Paraná in Brazil. Your favorite team? My favorite team is uh, Newcastle United. Uh, I guess you can say it's a it's a permanent roller coaster. And what's your Lions Ross story? Uh, my Lions Ross story is that uh, I was in the stadium the day that um, John had the kind of vision that many, many football fans would share his heart and passion uh, for community projects at home and away. Um, so I, I think I was there from inception and I've been with it ever since and I've loved it ever since. Favourite moment on a legacy tour? Uh, I've got two great moments. First isn't an obvious one. It, it was actually when we, uh, we took the, the touring guys to South Africa to the airport to set them on the way home. Uh, it was such a, a massive relief that we delivered the projects and that these guys were going home safe. But my actual favourite moment on tour has to be when a young guy called Brian uh, nearly fell into a, a, a wheelbarrow full of cement, pushing, pushing cement up a hill while we were laying the foundations uh, at one of the schools in, in uh, South Africa. The best match you've ever seen live? Oh, the, I'm not sure if the football was great, for, but for, for gripping entertainment, it has to be the uruguay Ghana game from the quarterfinals um, of the World Cup in 2010 in Soccer City. Where I don't know if you remember, but uh, Suarez was sent off and Guillan missed a penalty, uh, and, and eventually Uruguay won through. But it was the most gripping game I've ever been to. And the best player you've ever seen live? Oh, the be the best player I've seen live is Messi. Um, I was very fortunate to see him play uh, in Barcelona about four or five years ago. Since then, he's gone on to even better and greater things. Um, but if you re want a, a a guy who I've seen at his peak. Uh, it would have to be Zidane at, uh, at Euro 2004. And your second sport? Oh, uh, to play it would be cricket. I do love um, I do love having a good old slog on the village green, uh, but I have to say it's become American football, um, largely due to a, a, a huge American influence in my life of late. But I do love watching the NFL, uh, and you know, unfortunately, I'm a Buffalo Bills fan. Uh, and if you don't understand that, you should probably Google it. And who will win the World Cup in 2014? Oh, I would love to be standing here saying England, but I don't think we will. Um, I really do hope it's Brazil. Um, I've been reading a brilliant book called Football, A Brazilian Way of Life, and I can just imagine the catastrophe if Brazil don't win it. So I'm, I'm all out for Brazil, even over England, I must say.